Han Solo, captain of the Millennium Falcon. Lucky you found me. This is Brown Bat, captain of the Brown Bat. Lucky you found me. All right, so question a couple times I had, and I'm going to answer it today. I just had to throw that in there. Um, so, how do you get the uh, Spider-Man building, building uh, textures? And I'm glad somebody asked me because I almost forgot. I didn't forget the concept, but I didn't have it written down in my logbook. Well, it's sporadic in my logbook. It's all over the place. So I'm going to show you that, and I'm also going to show you how to get it on the bigger textures as I've had in the past with the uh, Spider-Man and uh, Hulk set. So they're a little bit bigger. The only problem with that is uh, wall climbers can't wall climb terrain pieces. If you don't care about that, as I really don't, um, you'll be good to go at the end of this tutorial. And before we get into it, I ask you a couple things. Please be patient with me as there's a this is tedious. And number two, please leave a like and comment and subscribe if you haven't. All right. With all that said and done, let's get to it. Okay, so you can see here, everything's back to normal. So I had to put it back to normal in order to show you how to uh, proceed, right? So, I mean, I want you to take a really good close look at this. <laughs> really look why we're doing this. No, no. No, all right, You've, you you know the complaint. Now here, this is a little bit different. All right, and you're gonna see as we proceed that this uh, building here is a little bit different and I think they were kind of, I, I, I think they were in between trying to figure something out when they did this and just left it alone. Uh, so the cement skyscraper piece is made up of mostly the right parts and then the wrong part. All right, so I think this was supposed to be another building by itself, uh, but it didn't work that way. So we're gonna be messing with this, and I'm probably gonna save that for last because this says it's a little bit more complex to explain. Because, well, you'll see. So I'll be back on the other screen in just a moment. All right, first thing you're gonna want to do again, go to your assets folder. Go to your assets folder and then what you want to do is find a folder called rumpus objects so assets rumpus objects all right so what's it going to look like on an unmodded computer or an unmodded game well let's look let me look in the original assets folder rumpus objects it's gonna look the same here all right so then you want to go into rumpus room all right from there you want to go to I'm thinking building sets all right and then building sets and then city all right now it's zipped what do you do with a zipped file all right so I'm not going to go through the tutorial, but you have to open it up with Quick BMS. Why am I not going through the tutorial? Because I've already done it. And Beyond Carl does a better explanation of it. He's the one I learned from anyway. So I'm going to put a link in the description. That being said, once you have that unzipped, it's going to look like this. All right, those are all the folders. Now, I'm not modding anything in here, okay? There is a separate texture folder in there, which I haven't touched, I haven't replaced. Now, if you're gonna mod any of these and replace any of these, then yes, you would have to ex take all these and cut those or move those outside of the folder and then take all the textures and then move them in assets textures. But if you're not touching any of these, 
then once you're done, then you can just delete the, un the folder that you extracted and go off the zip folder. If the zip folder isn't, I told you I wasn't going to do a tutorial, here I am talking about it, but if the zip folder is present without being renamed, the game engine is always going to go from the .zip than it is from the folder. So that's why you have to take everything out of here. But in this case, I'm just getting information so I can replace uh, particular textures. So the ones in here are for buildings I haven't touched. Now, if I ever want to mod these buildings, whatever these buildings are, then that's for a sign, I believe. If I was going to mod anything like this, then I would have to take out or, uh, all these folders and do what I said you would need to do. But thus far, I'm leaving all this stuff alone. And all you're looking for now is the MTB folders. What's that? It's a material base, I believe that stands for. It's a material something, anyway. And so you can't just click on it because... Uh, Let's say you open it with Notepad. You know, it's encrypted. And you can't decrypt this with Unlua C because it's not that type of a folder. And it's actually an information folder and it's also a material folder. So it's a material folder. What what is what is a material? Material is I guess it would be you could say it's a block of information telling the game to pull different textures to form uh, a material and a material usually is comprised of a color map which is also called a diffuse map in some instances uh, a bump map which is also called a normal map which gives a, an illusion of of depth and texture and some sort of occlusion map or roughness map one of the two or both uh, to tell how shiny it is and sometimes that uh, with Disney Infinity I they they don't use that and I think that's somehow encoded somewhere in in, in the in the background set that we don't see but some folders once you or some uh, materials you'll find that there's three textures some of you find there might be four five six uh, for the same object uh, so anyway what you would want to do if you're doing this by yourself because you don't know which one well you can you can figure it out uh, city base 24 24 is is the uh, dimensions of the block 4 by 48 dimensions of the block um, so 4 by 48 would be one of the big ones so city clip i don't know which one city clip is you can do trial and error the lobby i can tell you is that ugly green one with the door in the middle um i do know that and how do you find those out you, you trial and error you replace this with all this stuff and delete one at a time and find out which one's not there <laughs> and then write it down and then put it back um we're not doing that why we're not doing that? Because I already have the file names for you and I'm not reinventing the wheel. So, uh, so the two that we're going to replace uh, right now are the cement skyscraper piece, the brick skyscraper piece. I said two, right? The cement skyscraper piece we'll do at the end. So the brick skyscraper piece and the stone skyscraper piece. Okay, so let me just give you an example and I've done this before what do you how do you open those up and then you need a program and the links in the description it's hex HD or HD uh, HXD which is a hex editor so you open that up and then you drag the MTB file in there you make sure that's set to 12 up here bytes per row and you can set that default because default it's like 16 and you look for all the ones that are they have uh, the end in FF, 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 all right? And then you isolate these and then you remove the spaces and then you search for each one in your textures folder. Find it and then open it and see what that is. Surprise, surprise. Um, it's kind of easy, but then again, not all computers can view those files. So then what do you do? 
Oh boy, you have to make sure your computer can open a DDS file. How do you, how do, you do that? You have to find the codec or whatever they call it uh, if you don't already have it on your computer. And the other thing is Windows 10, and I'm, I don't use 11, I don't have 11, but I'm guessing it's the same thing. There was something called Windows Picture Fax Viewer that was available from XP on, or maybe it was before XP, but it was a really good file or a program for opening up uh, images. And then they took it away. It's still on the computer, by the way. Um, you just have to tell Windows 10 and probably 11 to uh, re-enable it. And I don't remember how to do that, but you're going to have to do your own legwork on that. How to re-enable Windows Pictures and Facts Viewer. Because this is not a tutorial for that. If I remember, I'll put a link in the description. But there's at least two two or three uh, tutorial videos on that on YouTube. Anyway, um, so it enables you to view these folders once you search for I closed it didn't I open it with hex editor alright so it allows you to view these so let me give you an example I'm just gonna go the easy way and the easy way is the long way so I'm gonna copy that right now I have no idea what that is and then I'm going to go to Assets, Textures, Control F, and paste that. Now it's not going to find anything. You want to get rid of all those Fs. I have a tutorial out there that give you an easy way to do this. All right, so I'm just going to go over, over, backspace, over, over, backspace, over, over, backspace, over. <laughs> Hit enter. All right, no items match your search. Why? And here I am coming in from the future. I didn't explain this, I don't know why. So anyway, the reason why the search results came up nothing is because I was in the wrong folder. If you remember correctly, I had the original assets folder open and then I wanted to go back to the one with everything extracted. So it's a good thing I did that because what that shows is unless you extract all the texture files, you're not going to find what you're looking for. So you need to do the preliminaries first. So if you think you're going to use this as your first modding project, you're sadly mistaken. All right. So go back. If you've never modded this before, go back, go back, go back and do the, the, the beginning parts, you know, part one, part two, part two, three, whatever, however long it takes you to become familiar with uh, extracting folders and what you need to extract and why and where and all that good stuff. So anyway, Back to our show. In the textures folder, paste the number, delete the spaces. There we go. All right. So now it's a T body, and normally it's gonna it's gonna say I don't know how to open this. So a T body is actually a DDS with they just renamed the extension. It opens with pictures and facts viewer if I, I'm pretty sure, I'm, well, in mine it does. So anyway, it's that. What is that? That is a bump map or a uh, normal map that tells the uh, picture to look 3D when you're looking at it straight on, even though it's not 3D. It's, it's a, it fools your eyes. It's an illusion, so to speak. So that's one of the windows. I don't know which window it is, but whatever. So, I took all these and I searched for all the DDS folder or the all the DDS files. And then I copied them all and then I put them in a folder. And then I changed all the T-body names to DDS extension. Which that was easy because there's a code for that uh, through a command prompt to change batch uh, file extensions. I showed that off in a tutorial before. So anyway, now that I did that, and these are set to open with Windows Picture and Facts Viewer, I can get the preview on my screen. Okay. So I set all these up. I'm just giving you a, a scenario, a synopsis of what I did, just in case you're crazy enough and want to do the same thing. 
Okay, and so then I took all of them out, and there's there's thousands. There's like three thousand four hundred after you have everything extracted, and then you can search for them all, uh, which is crazy, right? And you'll find stuff that's never been used. You'll find stuff you're like, what is that? And you won't know until you're actually modding it. And you say, oh, that's what that is. All right. So there's no rhyme or reason for the naming convention. So if you're looking at this image right here, uh, I have no clue where the bump map is for that. Unless I'm going to be searching and searching. And I did that for a lot of these. And then you get to certain ones that have the same, the same, uh, the same picture. So then what do you do? Well, I've also gone through the city maps and I've also isolated the, uh, I've also isolated certain, uh, of the city textures. So we'll know exactly what to get. So I'm just giving you a, syn a synopsis of what I went through, uh, so you don't have to. So if you ask me, can you find this? And I might be able to find it. Um, if I've looked for it and if I've modded it before, then I, I, I probably will have the number and the, the name for you. So anyway, with all that being said, look, I said be patient with me. So city, this is where I store them. This is not in the game file. These are copies that I had stored. So I don't, if I mess anything up, I can always get a backup. Okay. So, brick skyscraper. This is your br uh, brick skyscraper. Uh, it's your standard block, all right? And it is this red window, or red brick with in, with a window in the middle. And then here's the normal map. Okay, and then you have your, uh, it's either uh, an occlusion map or it's a, a specular map, metal map, roughness map a combined but I don't know but what it is is the black here is telling the material to not be shiny and it's telling the material for the white to be shiny so hence when you look out the window it's shiny to give you an illusion of glass and everything else is mid shiny so you see it goes from black to this almost white so the closer to white it is the shinier it is the closer to black it is the flatter it is okay so what am I gonna do I want to replace it with these spider-man windows not those aren't there I have to find them where did I put them <laughs> the spider-man windows so I put those in a folder so I'm gonna show you the names because I don't know where they're stored. They're not attached to any particular model piece that's available in game. So the only way I found them was th through that method of taking all that th those 3000 plus uh, textures and sorting through every single one of them and seeing what I could find. And so where did I put that folder? to be sorted so I have windows 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 and I have them under four okay so we have two versions version one and version two so my plan is to change the white ones to one and the red ones to another okay and if you didn't get that just look right there, write the numbers down. You're only dealing with two maps with these. Now, if you've seen the other ones, they had three maps. So we're gonna have to compensate uh, for a, uh, the, the, the gloss or the specular map or whatever you wanna call it. We're gonna have to compensate for that somehow. And for some reason, these particular texture files, you, I can't, I'm not saying you can't, you might be able to figure it out, but to my knowledge, it hasn't been figured out yet. If you open these in a, in a image editor and then save it as a DDS, the same way you do with character textures, it won't work. It will not read the image. For some reason, it just makes it gray, white, whatever, and it just messes it all up. I'm thinking that there's something else inside these 
um, that's different from the character texture models or character texture maps. However, however, if you swap them out, which we are doing, then that's okay because you're not altering anything. Now, if I could alter them, I would make my own metal map or occlusion map, whatever you want to call it. But it seems like I, I can't with the software that I have. We're not going to do that. Um, it'll give me a messed up model, or messed up in game. So, so these two, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them. Where would you find these, by the way? All right, you would find that in the texture. as a T-body, okay? It's already there, this has not, not been modded. So that's where you'd find it, okay? So you're gonna take those numbers, search, then in your search results, in the texture folder, you're gonna copy it. Don't, don't cut it, copy it, all right? And put it in another folder. Create your own workstation and my case, my workstation is uh, character texture mods and do, 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 do. where did I put it? That's characters. It is terrain themes. I said character texture mods, didn't I? It's the terrain, the characters I have for my workstation for the characters. So I have city, alright, and then in this instance is a, a brick skyscraper and then I have a backup. These are the original T-bodies of these. These are the T-bodies renamed with, with the DDS extension so I can see that. Alright, so from there I'm going to make a folder called MODS. Alright, and then here I'm going to make another folder called Burger King. It's backup, right? In the backup folder I'm just going to copy these put them in there you can never have too many backups all right and then I'm also going to put the same ones right out here you'll see why in a second all right so let me go back to my texture folder and no that is the rumpus room textures I have to let me open that back up oh I don't need to open it back up because I have it Too many duplicate folders open. Hang on. I'm gonna find that folder again. All right. So what one did I save? Uh, the one with the segmented or the triangle, or the one with both segmented win windows? Well, let's do both segmented. I can't remember if I was on the other one or not. So I'm going to again this number. Right, you should be able to see it. I'm going to put these uh, numbers. There's going to be a whole bunch of stuff in the uh, in the uh, in the description. So you're gonna have to, if you don't want to copy it, uh, write it down. Uh, I'm going to put all these stuff in the description. So check the description for links and information. So I'm going to take this. And I'm going to search for that. All right. And then I want to copy that. And then I'm going to put that in that mod folder that uh, I'm using. Actually, I'm going to put that in the backup part. Okay. Then I'm going to search for the normal map. Okay, and then copy that and then put that in the backup folder. All right, so now these two though, I want to rename these DDS because they're really no good to us as a T-body because we're not changing those. We're using these to replace the other ones. 
All right, so now I'm gonna copy these two. Remember, we're still in the mod backup folder, not the actual backup folder. Paste them. All right, so now we can replace this and we can replace this one, but we're missing this. And let me tell you something. I'll just show you, but I'll tell you something. It's gonna look kind of funny if you don't replace, if you, uh, if you uh, leave that alone, if you don't replace that. So what I'm gonna do is I just hit F2 to bring up the rename you can right click and rename but copy everything do not copy the dds extension all right so and then i'm going to rename this so if you look at it it has two extensions tagged to it but only the last extension is what matters so i'm going to copy the whole thing and replace the name of that all right so now that is for all intents and purposes when we replace the the t-body file and the texture folder it's going to think it's this all right so then what am i going to do i'm going to do the same thing with the normal map and then i'm going to take these two folders or files copy them go to the texture folder and replace them okay now let's open up the game all right and then it replaced all that with this the door texture is something different. Again, if you want that door texture, I will do a tutorial on that. Yeah, so now that used to be the red one, but now, guess what? That is Spider-Man. I'm going to call it Spider-Man texture number one. So now everything that was intended to be that ugly red brick is now this. Okay. And we'll get to the these two later on. Something totally different. Okay, so next we're gonna do the same thing with the the white brick, which is stone skyscraper. Then we are going to go to that other folder that I have. Alright, and I just gotta get the names here so I can give those the the uh, file names for you to search for. This is the other one. And I am going to go to the textures folder and search for this one. Copy that. Put that in my Burger King folder. All right, go to the next one. So I can get the uh, model for, or the texture for you. All right, paste that in there. And then I'm gonna rename both of those to DDS. All right, so now it's these ones. And I forgot to look, remember I was talking about the uh, the window? I'm pointing at the screen, thinking that there's a camera on me and there's not. Well, when we load it back up, we'll look to see if that affected anything. All right, so we have, oops, I put it in the wrong one. We want stone skyscraper and we need a folder called mods same as before and in there we're going to need a folder called bk burger king you make chicken right wait did i just mix up commercials <laughs> of course i didn't i would never do that <laughs> burger king the san francisco treat Burger Roni. <laughs> All right, so turn the backup. Outside the backup, I also need all three of these copied into the backup. Oop, didn't want to open it. Okay, and then I also want them outside the backup, just in case. All right, so now let's play the rename game. Copy that name. Copy the entire, th or place, paste over the entire thing, changing the extension and all. And do the same with the normal map. Oops. All right, then take these two, copy them, and paste them in the textures folder. 
and replace all, yes. And then let's load it back up and see the fruits of our endeavors. So now we have two different styles of windows. All right, so I'm looking to see, I can see it. I don't know if you can. It's where the light reflects on the, uh, on the building. I don't know if the camera or if the uh, recorder is picking that up, but it's where it turns very light purple. That is the windows from the uh, original texture because the occlusion map it's saying that that part's going to be glossy. So we got to compensate for that. So what we're going to do? Well, we don't need an occlusion map. So if I get rid of it, one of two things is going to happen. It's going to render it as all gloss or all flat i'm not quite sure so let's check it out okay so the easiest way we're going to uh delete a fold or a delete a file and it would be the the ambient ones uh the black and white ones is to get the name right and we have the backup of it is the t-body the four two six eight So I'm going to copy that. This is a shortcut. You can get yourself into trouble, but I'm just showing you shortcuts. I'm about shortcuts. We just want to find it and delete it. So this is one way to delete it, right? So I'm going to say replace. Yes. Then I'm going to delete it. It's gone. It's gone. But if I have to put it back, I will just put it back. That might be more than enough. Uh, you could also search for it and delete it. I mean, it might be more of a problem, but I think you guys are smart enough to be able to figure this out. I mean, <laughs> if you crack the game open this far, you know, <laughs> you can you you can mod a mod. You can mod the way of modding. Mod the way of modding. All right, so 87CE. We'll see what that one does. Let's see, we're gonna copy the T body. Replace yes, and then. See, what happens is once you replace it, it's automatically selected on it, all right? So that's that's what enables me to do that. So I'm going to hit delete because it deleted it, all right? So then I'm going to open the game up and see what happens. Now, if it's all glossy, we can't do it that way. We got to figure, we, uh, we have to do an alternate fix. It is not all glossy. It rendered it all flat, which is what we want. What I was going to do is find an image that was all black and use and replace it. But seems how it's not, that's good. That's good. Now, if somebody can figure out which program to use for these textures that actually saves it as a proper DDS that works in the game, then that would be so much better. I mean, think of all the things that I could make with that. Um, I could make, I mean, I could put my face, I could put my face on blocks. I could have that brown bat face. I could make my own street signs and, and building advertisements for that brown bat. That'd be so cool. Um, but unfortunately, as we speak right now, it is impossible to do because it won't do that. So what are we doing now? Well, we're going to, I said I'd do these last, last in succession for these. Um, I have an alternate thing that I was going to use for these. Now, you say, can we take these cool double windows and replace that? No. And the reason why, I'll show you in a second, these double windows are geared for, oh boy, let me just show you how it looks, the difference. Well, I'm showing you right here. If you look at the image of this, all right, this is the image that we found in game, all right? That's, that's the image. 
The image of the concrete ones looks like this. The image of these, as you'll see in a section in a second, actually looks like this. They don't have a single one. It's all uh, three by three. All right, here is the alternate texture. I said three by three. It's actually two by two. Um, so forgive me for that uh, being mistaken. It's a two by two. So I know you can't see the mouse. So I just opened it up in uh, Photoshop. So technically, in order to get this to work like everything else, the image or the uh, texture would have to look something like this. Something like that, but it doesn't. So we're gonna have, it's gonna be disproportionate because it's not, it wasn't unwrapped the same way as the other models. The, uh, this particular uh, concrete building. So I'm going to show you what this looks like. I'm going to copy those. So what, what, what are those numbers? I will put those in there as well. But for time's sake, I'm just going to copy. I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to call these. I'm going to call these the, uh, I'm going to call them four by fours. That's what I'm going to call them in the uh, description. So when you're looking, what are those in case you want to mess around with those and find them? I'm going to call those four by fours and list out the numbers. And I'm going to call, you know, I'm going to say color map. I'm going to say normal map. I'm going to say uh, uh, occlusion map or specular map. One of the two. Uh, I'm not sure which one it actually is called uh, because they can be multi, 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 multi pass. It can be multi pass. So I'm going to, where are my, I'm actually going to do an alternate mod for this, the, the, uh, the red one the brick just to see what happens to show you so I'm call it mod 2 Now it looks so unrealistic. This is like a house for for like a townsperson. And then not even because townspeople are like deformed children. So we don't want to do that. But these could actually compensate for it because it's 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 wrapped a little bit different. So we can do that but that's going to make this funny. So there's another thing that I want to try. So I'm not going back and using these, even though these windows are awesome. Um, these are a little bit better. And especially when we make them bigger and put them on these. So what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to try and use what was, uh, what I found in toy box speedway and see if, uh, that's a little bit better and if not then I'll just go back to these but I wanted to try something so you'll be the first to see it here okay so we have our cement skyscraper that has these in there the original ones and I have them backed up in here the original so in the mod I don't have anything in there yet so let's set up the mod folder PK 
copy, paste, paste. Okay, and let's go to some of the stuff I pulled off that search and see what we're going to use. Alright. So in Toy Box Speedway, the variants uh, look like look like that and I think this looks a lot better and they even have if you look real closely there's even an image of uh, blinds in there uh, another variant is this I mean that looks like uh, you know like a hospital or something like that so that's something I could use too so I'll put uh, I guess I'll put these in there too but we gotta make sure that they're available because some of these you're not going to find in the texture folder unless you unwrap unzip something else that has a texture file and you dump all those into it let me search for this file the same way i did before with the other ones textures see if it's in there that particular one is not in there how did i find that one that's a very very good question how did I find that if it's not in there? All right, this is what I did to find every texture in the game. I went to assets and I typed in .zip. Waited for it to finish the search. All right, and then when the search was done, I copied every single one of them. And I'm not going to do that now. It's going to take forever. And if I and it took it took a couple days. Uh, I don't expect you to do this, but this is just what I did. And I put it in another folder, copied them all into a separate folder somewhere specific, probably uh, not on not in the same Disney Infinity folder, somewhere else. And. I no longer have it because it was like I don't know it was like it was very big it was a very big file and I pasted it inside no folder I'm not gonna do it and then every zip file that was in there I extracted using quick BMS and then once everything was extracted there I did a search for dot T body then I cut or cut all those. I didn't copy them. I cut all of those and put those into another folder. And then I went back to the assets folder and did a search for .t body and copied all of those. I didn't cut those. I copied them and then put them in the other folder. Then I had all of the image files together. And then I used that command prompt code to change all the the T body extensions to .dds. And I think it took three days between that and doing my normal course of work and everything like that. So, we're in the mods, I'm gonna put these in the backup, and put them outside of the backup, and then probably, now that I think of it, yeah, whatever. Um, I'm gonna rename these and see what that looks like. You, you, you. Copy those and paste in textures. Let's load her back up and see what happens. Well, surprise, surprise. I'm using that. From now on. Now that is a building they should have replaced it with. Yeah, they should have just said, here's the update. We're no longer using that Fisher Price looking thing. All right, so now on to those. All right, so now Hulk, where are you gonna find Hulk? You're going to find Hulk, not in Rumpus Room, but you're going to find Hulk in Assets, Materials right there materials 
and you are going to want to go to all right hang on let me show you what it looks like in the original and it is in materials ma worlds i think yeah ma worlds so if you see this underscore it's underscore underscore by the way i don't know why but it is so it's ma underscore underscore worlds underscore underscore rr dot zip rr stands for rumpus room so what you do you go to your quick bms change the destination and then find it ma worlds underscore underscore rr where are are you where are are you and then you'd say save wait for it to get done and then the folder and there was nothing in here i needed to extract it was just information and it was mtv file but we wanted to find material worlds rr underscore hulk and you have asphalt ground riverbed rock wall blend track bottom track intersection track side trim accent and wall now some of those are interior things and some of them are the racetrack some of them are the ground when it says wall actually it doesn't call it wall what does it call it rock wall rock wall is the straight up and down texture the the vertical texture the here asphalt that's going to be your horizontal texture track of course track bottom track bottom is your basic flat track piece intersection is the intersection track side you're usually going to find something in track side that's shared with something else so if you're going to modify track side you're going to affect every i think it's just a pink color so it's like the color pink in the entire game so if you mod that uh, get rid of that texture or replace that texture for track side you're going to change like all the color pink in the entire game so leave that alone trim accent that's interior walls interior and uh now some of them will name uh let's see ground main for let's group his is called ground main whereas hulk's called asphalt okay Oh, Hulk also has brown. All right, one of them is the riverbed. Nope, riverbed's right there. Asphalt, brown. All right, one of them is, all right, so you got riverbed. And I'm not sure which one's which. Riverbed is the material inside the water. So in Hulk's case, I think they're sewer pipes or something like that. The area outside that, that's either the asphalt or the ground. It's one of those two. You're going to take every single one of these, every single file, every single file from this folder, right? And paste it here. Paste it here. So you're going to take all these inside this folder, select all, right click, cut, or control X, whatever you do, and then paste it outside here. Okay, I'm not gonna do that because I've already done that. Then, that texture folder, every single one of those textures, all right, you don't leave it in that folder. You're gonna wanna move every single one of those textures into assets, textures, the actual texture folder. And then, you're going to want to find the zip file, maworldsrr.zip. And I wouldn't delete it. I mean, you can if you want. But what I would do is just rename it and put .old, 
you know, something like that, dot OLD, and then save it, and I'll say, do you want to save it? And then you say yes. That way you still have it, and you mess something up, then you can always go back. The other thing is, before doing any of that, I would make sure I have, like I do, uh, an original assets backup folder. All right, so I'm going to get rid of this. I'm not going to use that anymore. I just showed you what to do. But I have this assets original. So it's a copy to the original assets folder before I did any modding. So I have that backed up. So I can always go back to that. And then I have a couple other backups depending on different progresses I was in. Say, well, my computer doesn't have that much space. Then don't mod. <laughs> Don't, don't mod if you don't have any space. <laughs> don't. <laughs> okay, so back to the material. So you're gonna, uh, you're gonna have all those textures that I'm gonna list in a link because you went through all this and you have them now in your texture folder. So when you search for the item, every single one of these, going to find it all right so once you get all of those it's only four right uh, because we're just dealing with the rock walls right now all right so you're going to make your mod folder and you're going to make your backup folder All right, then you're going to take the uh, pieces that you're going to mod, and that would be that wall, that wall, that wall, that wall. And copy, paste, paste, and then we want to find the pieces that we're going to replace them with. And again, it's the same ones that we chose for... Uh, for the city pieces that we already did, that's and we're going to use the same one. So uh, where are windows? So I'm going to use the double segmented windows for Hulk, and then the segmented slash triangle one, if you want to call it that, for uh, Spider-Man. Okay, and since there are two normal maps this does not work the same way for everything um, but it does work this way for Hulk so we're gonna get away with it sometimes it just doesn't work because they sometimes the uh, normal maps have different intensities and they're offset and if they're if this was offset from that then you would get like a double vision type thing and then you would have to figure out which one you want to delete uh, but we don't have to worry about that in this case well, that means we need two of these and two of these. All right, so I'm gonna rename the color maps. And then I'm going to rename the normal maps. Okay, and then I'm going to, this should be four, one, two, three, four, copy, and go to the texture folder, paste, and replace. Then let's load up and check it out. Wow. All right, now you have Theme Hulk. Let me set the theme here, because I have the power disc on, right? Set the theme. All right, now that you have everything ex you have everything extracted from that material, so you're going to want to go to MA Worlds underscore underscore Where is it? Materials underscore underscore worlds underscore underscore RR underscore underscore SPD. So let's find it. All right, so now you're going to find SPD Cliff Bend. SPD main ground, SPD riverbed, side bush, and in this instance, the side bush is the area, I think it's the one surrounding the riverbed.
track bottom, track intersection, track side. Again, never don't don't mess with track side. So you have that many. And I did the search for all the materials and, and got the ones that I thought that were important to change. So let's go to the Spider-Man one. And I don't have these organized, but I have all the originals there. And if you know what this one is, this is the uh, comic book terrain texture piece that's on the uh, it's on his uh, the, the decorations like the, the trees and bushes and uh, I said I don't like that either and that was all oh yeah that was shared with uh, the river not the riverbed but the uh, the bush which is the uh, surrounding the riverbed so I said what is that gonna be and I changed that with the texture for the road Okay, so let me start over from the beginning. Dot. So you make your folder, new folder, MOD. All right, so you get mods, and then you make your BK, and then what are we replacing? Well, right now we're replacing. The uh, bump maps, that's, uh, there's two for the walls, and you know, it seems like he had decent uh, brick texture too, but it was ruined by that, uh, that stupid uh, webbing that they had to throw on everything. So we're going to take that, that, and that, and I think that was it, that's for the walls, so copy those, I'm gonna put those in here. Put those in the back up. All right, what are we replacing them with? We are replacing them with those other windows. All right, and then let's go put those into the mod folder. Okay, now it's the same thing going to be with that we did with Hulk. You need two of each of those because there's two uh, normals and two color maps. So, I'm going to go to the first normal here, change that name, oops, the next one, change the name of that one, so they're going to be identical. And then, same thing with the brick. Now also, keep in mind that brick texture might come in handy for replacing an other uh, texture that you might want to use. So don't forget that you've already had it extracted um, if you ever want to say, what would this brick texture look like in here? So that's 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 a good one. That's a good one. Um, always keep that in mind. All right, so now we have four pieces. And I'll leave the roads up to you. Okay, so now we have Spider-Man one and the Hulk one. All right, that's about sums it up for this tutorial. I want to thank everybody that actually stayed to the end. And for those that stayed to the end, I'm going to tell you where the link is. You don't want to go through all the, the nonsense that I went through. Uh, to find all this stuff. I mean, unless you want to. Um, it's in the description. After all the credits for the music. That's where the link is. And you'll find the files. And uh, that's it. Um, I would appreciate it. If you didn't. Just share the files. Because there are some people out there. That have been sending me messages. Ordering me to give them links. And I'm not playing by their games. Um, they watch the video for 38 seconds, as the average is for most of my videos, and then want me to abide by their rules. I believe these are three, four-year-olds, maybe five-year-olds, uh, that have not been uh, given proper discipline by their parents. 
and uh, they shouldn't even be watching this without their parents' consent, according to YouTube rules anyway, but that's the way the, the cookie crumbles, I guess. It's, you got to live with that. But anyway, there's nothing wrong if you share these, the, the link. I just appreciate it that, you know, for those that stay and watch, kind of, you, you get rewarded for putting up with me uh, <laughs> um, talking. Um, don't forget to like comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And until next time, 